Instagram and today we're going to meet Pearl and Charlie. Okay, let's do this guys. Pearl Barley and Charlie Parsley for today's story time. For my wife. Oh <laughs> for everyone. This story this story is dedicated to everyone guys. Okay, let's do this. Barley and Charlie Parsley are friends. Really great friends. Hmm. However, people often ask, why are Pearl Barley and Charlie Parsley friends? They are so different. Just so different. They are different different in almost every way. You see, while Pearl Barley is very loud, Charlie Parsley is very quiet. <laughs> he likes to read books and she likes to well create a ruckus. <laughs> the benefits of wearing, of wearing felt. Mm. While Bird Barley likes to talk, talk, talk all day long about anything and everything. Mm -hmm. Talk, 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 talk. Charlie Parsley is very shy. Very shy, unlike Pearl. <laughs> While Bird Barley likes to solve mysteries and get to the bottom of things. Charlie Parsley likes to be safe and sound. <laughs> She's a bit brave and Charlie's a bit shy. While Pearl Barley likes to run amok, Charlie Parsley likes to sit and think. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look at Pearl! She's out there! And Charlie's watering his garden. Yes, they are different. Different in almost every way. Every way. However, when Pearl Barley forgets her mittens on cold winter days, Charlie Parsley holds her hands and makes them warm as toast. Oh, I got you, Pearl. <laughs> Aww. When Charlie Parsley feels scared of scary things, Pearl Barley makes him feel brave. She is his hero. Oh. That's right, no more feeling scared. I'm there for you. I'll kill all the monsters. No need to be afraid. And then she's his hero. When Pearl Barley gets tired from running and walking, solving mysteries and getting into the bottom of things, Charlie Parsley tucks her into bed and brings her a smug of warm milk. He has a lovely bedside manner. <laughs> when Charlie Parsley feels small or lonely or just plain blue, Pearl Barley tells him not to worry and says things like, I think, I think you're great. Oh, <laughs> look at him hugging small Parley Charlie Parsley and well, he was not going to feel small anymore. <laughs> If that doesn't work, she dances up a storm. Come on, Charlie, let's dance it out. And there she is, holding his hand, bringing a smile on his face. <laughs> and he's all big and full and tall again. Yes, they are different, all right. Different in almost every way. <laughs> They're just different. As you can see, look at that little daredevil or doing all sort of ruckus in that small motorcycle with Charlie's knitting sweaters. <laughs> They're different in almost every way. And that is why Pearl Barley and Charlie Parsley are friends. Really.
really great friends. <laughs> what a cute little story, guys. Let's read. The author of this book likes to paint pictures, make up stories, and listen to his unfashionable record collection and potter about with his wife and two small sons. Aww. This book has won 2008 CBCA Book of the Year Early Childhood and was so shortlisted for a 2008 Richardson Award for New Illustrators and 2008 NSW Premier's Literary Awards. Wow! That's so amazing! Well done, Aaron! What a lovely book, guys! A delightfully uplifting tale about self-belief, courage and above all, the power of friendship. 